All right, today we're gonna have a look at my van setup. But first, I probably should, probably should finish setting it up. As you can see, I started doing the sit out and I, I just gave up halfway through. It's been about four months like this. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to get a drawer, the same as this one. First up then, we want to fix this drawer and we want to build another one of these in this space here. So what's going on here is we've got one drawer. You can see this filled with door boxes, bits and pieces in here. It's a bit, bit of a mess right now. So we're going to copy that on this side here. Once they're done, we're gonna have a floor going across the entire thing and build a few shelves up from there. We got this middle section. I'm, I'm missing my levels. I'm missing a 600 or 1200. Obviously my festival track goes through there, DeWalt bench and everything goes through here, but this, is, this isn't secured yet either. So I'm not actually using the level to see if this is level. My van's, my van's never going to be level. So if I built this whole setup level, wherever I park, it's going to be at a slope somehow. So I've already, I've already got these two points to be flat and a straight line. Um, and I'm just sitting my level on top of all the other ply to get that straight line running across. Yeah, this is going to go at the height of that ply. I'm just going to put PVA glue on this middle part. I'm putting PVA glue on everything I'm joining. I want it to be as secure as possible, especially in the back of a van while I'm driving around and bumping on roads. I actually filmed the entire process of starting this off, but I accidentally deleted all the footage. So the first thing I did is I went around my van and put in a plywood floor everywhere. That just means when I build something like this, I can screw it straight down into that floor. Everything's level and flat, and it just makes a great, easy working surface. All right, so what I've been doing in terms of connecting this to the bottom is I'll get a piece of LRSP and what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw through the ply into the LSP like that. So when I put it in the van, it's connected in this L shape and now I can screw straight down here. Kinda, I'm kind of just making this all up as I go. As you can see on the other side here, I've got two slots where my compressor can go. This is just a small battery compressor. I don't really use it for anything. And then my fixing brad gun just goes behind it. And I'm just going to have my ply just cut out around these so I can access these. I've got no plans for this side here, but I think I'm not going to do that. I might just have the ply go all the way across. So if I want to, I can build some shelves up here as well. All right, these are the drawer sliders we're using. They, they come out a meter and they've got a rating up to 90 kilograms. So I think we're gonna be sweet. That's two meters right there. So we're gonna be screwing this track onto there. The problem is though, our screws are gonna get in the way of our levels. So I've got to line it up perfectly so that track and the screws go right through the side of that ply. I just got myself the peg car, the Pico deep hole marker. So I'm gonna give this a shot to mark all the holes where it goes. This is the biggest test. Do any of those screws stick out? All right, that's good. Let's get the tomato. That's perfect. Perfect. Now we can frame up a box for this. That is super handy now. Uh, this might be a bit challenging, but now we're ready to chuck a plywood roof on top of all of this. Uh, 
All right, this isn't working. I'm gonna have to cut it in half and do it in two parts. I'll take it, that works. Perfect. Sweet, they still fit in there. Behind this sliding door, I'm gonna have most of my saws. I've got my 235 quarter Makita saw, 40 volt battery Makita saw, DeWalt reciprocating saw, 54 volt battery DeWalt saw, and obviously my battery powered minor saw. Compressor hose and a few boxes just in the bottom here and an additional feature I just added in was another sliding drawer at the top here But this is gonna be an area to store my plans in books to draw plans and just a few pencils and pens in there It's just kind of making the most of this vacant space here I reckon that's not too bad I'm not too sure what the laws are with having to have visibility to the back of the van. I know obviously we have utes that have canopies and you can't see anything. To be on the safe side of the law, we'll have this check out. I won't have any shelves covering that. And eventually I do want to put a bit of glass in there and we'll architrave around it. We'll make it look nice and pretty. The shelf is done everywhere though. Now it's time for the fun part. I can't believe it, we're so close. From doing all the finishing touches at the back, we're gonna mat the floor, I was gonna put some drawers up do some of the fun stuff the van's broken down it feels like the gearbox is gone uh, it's not a very expensive van so i'm unsure if it's going to get fixed if we're going to keep working on it that's a bit heartbreaking though i've just spent so much time doing the setup so close to finishing it we're at the fun stage where we're going to make everything look good uh, i'm going to go back to driving my ute now if you want to see what setup i'm running on my ute there's a video here of me setting that up